What up, y'all? What's going on, guys? We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. First time on the channel, Bill <laughs> Bailey. What? This is his clip. Any song sounds better in heavy metal. And I agree. Yeah. I agree. Highly requested, highly recommended. Highly is, seen on yes. my, my recommendations. Mm -hmm. And this is one of our patrons requested it. So Thank Patreon. You. So, of course, it got to bump up. Yep. Let's just dive in, man. I don't know what to expect. Me neither. It's going to, I I hope, so many great things. All right. Let's yeah, do it. let's go. Happiness is quite different from happiness around the world because we process happiness in a different way in Britain. You know, American friends I've met, Australians, they're much more in the moment. Oh, yeah, they're in tonight. Woo! -hoo! They're much more, much more upbeat, much more positive. And I say to my Australian friends, how are you? Awesome. Awesome. I mean, genuinely, non, in a non-ironic way. How are you, mate? Awesome. How was yesterday? Awesome, mate. Today's going to be awesome. What are you doing tomorrow? I don't know. Picking up stones in the rain. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Facts. We never say that in a non-ironic way. In Britain, the best you're going to get, because our happiness is based on this premise, things could have been a lot worse. Right? <laughs> That's as good as it gets in Britain. That's why the standard greeting in Britain, how are you? Not too bad. <laughs> That's as good as it gets in old blighty. Not too bad. Things are clearly bad, but they're not quite as bad as we thought they were going to be. <laughs> We've dialed down our expectation to an acceptable level of disappointment. We're eking out our expectation in diminishing increments of reduced joy. Things are not too bad. There's the abyss. We're not in the abyss. We're in the car park and snack area, adjacent to the abyss. It's not too bad. That is the ludicrous optimism of the British psyche. In Britain, we have the highest per capita ownership of convertible cars in Europe. That is preposterous optimism. Right there. <laughs> Oh man, I've I've remember the Al Murray clips of saying that the Brits are sensible, down to earth people, and I've I I, I think um, yeah we are a little too optimistic over yep. here in this country, and yeah you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I I have to agree. I have to agree. You know, but we can't afford convertibles. <laughs> no, not no. yet at least. <laughs> no, but. You could barely afford your truck. Oh, my God, no. No. <laughs> but I'm saying it's awesome. Whatever it is, it's fucking awesome. It's awesome. That's how it is. It's awesome. Yep. Ironically and unironically. Yep. When you see a couple with the top down in July, their faces contorted in a rictus of optimism as the horizontal hail drills into their retinas. <laughs> it's clearing up. It's clearing up. <laughs> My own mother, God rest her soul, one of the greatest optimists I ever knew. At the end of term school play, I was in it, obviously. Uh, it was The Resistible Rise of Arturo Ui by Bertolt Brecht. Some of you will know it. Yeah, we had quite an ambitious English teacher. And <laughs> for those of you that don't know, it's a, it's a play, it's about the rise of gangsterism in Prohibition era Chicago, but it's a thinly veiled satirical allegory about the rise of Nazism, the thuggishness, the brutality, and the inexorable rise of Hitler. A lot of parents were expecting the nativity. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, they've reworked this, haven't they? <laughs> they've done the baby Jesus of as Hitler. <laughs> God. Naturally, I was the lead. I was the ooey character, the putative Hitler character. So to go that extra mile, I dyed my hair black, cut it to a short, combed it to the side. And I came back from the hairdressers and I walked in and my mum went, Oh my goodness, you look lovely. <laughs> I said, Mum, I'm supposed to be Hitler. She goes, I don't care. You look very smart. And I didn't know it at the time, but that was the high watermark of her approval of my appearance. <laughs> The Hitler Christmas. <laughs> oh, God. The Hitmas. <laughs> How bad 
<laughs> does your <laughs> like appearance hey, have to be just like hey you know what um <laughs> i almost look like hitler uh, you look great you look great like, <laughs> uh, i like, guess it can't be worse oh so <laughs> what could be worse than that so what did that look like <laughs> like oh man if she thought that was slick Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Anyone here play in a rock band? Yeah. Yeah. Used to. Someone over here? Yeah. What sort of what, what sort of band is this? A rock band? You play an instrument, sir? Punk. punk? You're a punk band, and you. Uh, right. What's the name of your band, sir? Death Star. Death Star. Ah, wow. yeah. I like it. And is it sort of quite fast and furious? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's slow punk. <laughs> Smash the system from within. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that slow punk. <laughs> For that is the only true way. So it's gone medieval. Medieval <laughs> punk. <laughs> Smash the system from within And then we'll take the wolves to the tower <laughs> This is so I mean, stupid, I love this! Oh, I was about to say, like, that shit sounds like a Ren Fest! Like, <laughs> where's my big turkey leg and mead? And Get a slow punk band! Oh! Alright, sorry. I'm distracted, eh? Uh, and do you play an instrument, sir? Guitar, right on. And when you're, when you're playing with Death Star, sometimes when you're rocking out, do you feel transported by the power of music? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> well, that was a long walk down a windy beach to a cafe that was closed. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't mean that. that. I like that. I like that. That was funny as shit. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> it's not like they were recording it for a DVD or anything. <laughs> Any metal fans in? Yes. Of course there are. Uh, uh, I like a bit, all kinds of metal. Anyone playing a metal band? Yeah. Yes! Excellent. And what, what is the name of your band, sir? WKD. Bibbon? WKD. WKD. Yeah. Look it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you just looked at the bottle you're drinking and gone, well, that's a good name? <laughs> no. <laughs> and are you, are you, what kind of metal do you play? Thrash. Thrash. Right. That's one of the best, one of the best, one of the most aggressive forms of metal. Uh, there's, uh, there's death metal, and death metal, again, very aggressive form of metal. And there's certain sort of protocols we have to follow, like there's two singing styles, there's the growling style, and the screaming style. And, and there's a chord progression, very popular in death metal, which is this. I think actually is the only chord progression. In <laughs> That's like 50% of Metallica's uh, catalog right there. <laughs> no. uh, yep. Let's make a song around that. How many? All of them. <laughs> how, all the songs. How many? Yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> oh. And you, you add that to the singing zone. <laughs> That's actually a death metal rowing team. <laughs> <laughs> Which I would bloody love to see, I have to say. <sighs> Oxford and Cambridge rowing along sedately and then a long black boat pulls up alongside. <laughs> <laughs> All Viking helmets chucking goat carcasses out. <laughs> oh, make that happen, someone. And <laughs> I've got this theory that uh, most songs in the popular canon will be improved by playing them in the death metal style. So, if you'd like to suggest a few songs, I will endeavour to do that. 
Justin Bieber. Not Justin Bieber. <laughs> it's the only one that doesn't work, weirdly. Okay. <laughs> what was it? Twinkle, twinkle, <laughs> little star. There we go. Oh, be careful oh, with this. <laughs> was amazing i would buy that release uh, that oh put it on spotify dude <laughs> <laughs> oh God. bro i would listen to that in my truck and people were like oh you're crazy and i'd run on the windows what do you listen to death metal no it's nursery rhymes <laughs> nursery rhymes oh my god I that's love it. great well done good suggestion I'm just trying to get behind anything, you know? I mean, I was, something. Like bizarre Olympic sports. I'm watching them, 3 o'clock in the morning, you know? This, uh, that one, you know, the race walking. <laughs> the Cockney Marathon, I call it. Yeah, yeah, that's it, leave it at. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favour, I'm doing a Cockney Marathon. <laughs> I just love it. I had a very odd experience in Tallinn, in Estonia. Some years ago, I did a sitcom called Black Books. And in it, there was a scene in it where I held up a neck massager to my breast. And there were two rotating cones. And I was like, Bernard, 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 I'm a prostitute robot from the future. <laughs> now, fast forward to Tallinn Airport Security. Uh-oh. Uh I'm putting my items through the scanner, or the eye of Sauron, as I call it. <laughs> and the guard fixed me with a gimlet eye, and he nudged his mate, and he went, Eh, Brunese, mumbling something in what I assume was Estonian. Eh, Brunese, Brunese. And he turned to me, and he went, Bernard, 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 Bernard. Bernard, Bernard, Bernard. Now, I knew what he meant, but it freaked all the other passengers out like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> they all thought it was some weird Estonian folk greeting. And then, of course, we had to take the obligatory selfie. Now, I'm fine with that. I accept social media into my life, albeit grudgingly, because if you're in the public eye, like what I am, you have to have a social media presence. Otherwise, some other nerk will rob it off you, right? As I discovered when I went on Twitter, and there were four other Bill Bailey Twitter users pretending to be me, having a much more fulfilling life, which is actually a bit <laughs> galling. <laughs> It's extraordinary. Facebook is like the Death Star. It sucks us in with those tempting links. The tractor beam of Facebook. Whoa, look at this link. Whoa, I must resist. But no, look at it. It's so tempting. When this guy puts some bread in a toaster, you won't believe what happened next. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, what happened, what happened? Uh, I hate clickbait. Uh, <laughs> Even though most of our titles are clickbait. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, no, this title should be Guy Tells a Joke. You won't believe what happens next. <laughs> Actually, you will believe what happens next. And, and YouTube is just like a portal for the deranged. It's like, a, <laughs> it's like a sump from a vast underground lake of anger. I put a still photograph of a cabbage on YouTube just to see what would happen. The amount of hatred that came back my way. What'd you do that for? You stupid man! You stupid cabbage man! <laughs> it's cabbage, isn't it? Uh, that Dude, it's so true. That describes everybody that complains that we do clips of shows and we don't get to the full shows fast enough. I, oh, I, I, boo -hoo. I love, I love the people that are just so upset that they have nothing else to take it out on except the comment section. Yeah, it's so, like, and it's not about 
it's m like if I see those rants, I'm like, bro, you got a, you got a problem. Yeah, you're react, <laughs> you're saying it to a reaction <laughs> channel on YouTube. Two dumbass <laughs> Americans yeah. are running. What is wrong, bro? Yeah, like, bro. Yeah. And it's mostly men, too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. a lot we of know, women. We know, we know our analytics. Yeah, we see the analytics. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it's anyway. like, man, sometimes I see that, see that like, paragraph. I'm like, oh, my God. Somebody get this guy a drink. Yeah, get them something to yeah. do. Man. <laughs> Oh, man. This is why we tell you at the end to unplug and go do some epic shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's not a, uh, a, a catchphrase. It's kind of a suggestion. Like a, a mental health <laughs> a suggestion. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's, All right, let's go. Being online is very dangerous. Yeah? Being online, we're at risk from cybercrime. My email was hacked. Some hackers got in. They guessed Bill123, and they got in. <laughs> <laughs> And they emailed my accountant. Now, some of you are thinking, you haven't got an accountant, Bill. What are you talking about? You keep all your money in a tree stump in the woods. And every Midsummer's Eve, you ask the wise old stag of the forest to tap out where I should invest it. But no, I actually have got an accountant. Oh, shit, well, I did have. And they emailed her and asked her to transfer some money to an account in Turkey, a place I've never been, showed no interest. And she bloody did. She just handed it over. Wow. What really annoyed me was the language that they used was so clearly not me. Hurry up, Julie. Where is money? Send money now, Julie, for Turkey House. <laughs> <laughs> Did she think Bill's a bit grumpy today? <laughs> He's lost his grip of grammatic structure. And then they used a load of baffling emojis, things I would never use. Hurry up, Julie. Where is money, pony, 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 cricket bat, sad face, cable car? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, Dude, man. yeah. Uh, more of him. I like him, Give man. us some more Bill Bailey. I like Bailey. him, man. It's oh, two thumbs shit. up. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy that metal song. Yeah, I would, too. I would, oh, too. Man. Oh, man. And his takes on social media are so true. This like, little, like, like almost 13-minute clip is so packed full of everything. Yeah, everything you want in a comic. Whew. I love it. Keep it coming, y'all. Yes. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, and embrace the suck. And unplug for a little bit, guys, and do some epic shit. See you next time. Later. Fellas, we can be that mistake. Let's do this.